Hello and welcome to another episode of Millionaire vs The Clock. I'm David and it's our 37th episode and still nobody has got past that first question. But in the seat tonight is Stevie G from Kidney Pool and maybe the fortunes will change for him. How you doing Stevie? Yeah, I'm not bad mate, I'm not bad. Uh, uh, what, what do you do again? Well, well, I don't don't have a job at the moment. I'm I'm unemployed. Uh, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, how long have you been unemployed for? Uh, the last ten years. Now I've been unemployed the last ten years. I'm really sorry to hear that. It's just fine, you know. I just never really fancied working, you know. I just just can't be bothered really to work. So that's that's why I've been unemployed so long. Well, what do you do for money, mate? I just just sort of live off government benefits, you know. Just, just I will get enough money. Right, okay. Well, I'm wishing you all the best of luck. Here are the rules that you have to face. You are 11 questions away from a million gems. To help you out, you get free lifelines. You can ring one of your mates. You can survey the crowd. And you can 50-50. Let's take a look at the categories you'll be facing. There they are. Okay, are you ready to play? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so, you get five seconds to answer the first question. Best of luck, here it is. What does Elogo Huskyo Hippocanurius mean? Good, bad, happy, or literally who cares? I'll go with A. Right, this has never happened before. Uh, you just won a hundred gems, I think. Yeah, now you get to see the next question for 500 gems. Uh, 15 seconds for this one. Here it is. What species is a Teletubby? A Nephilim, a human, a behemoth, or a Gorgon? Right, well, again, I'm not really sure, but... I think there's some sort of human, so I'm gonna go for the human. Uh, yes, it is human. Come on. Uh, yes, they are an evolved species of human known as Homo tubius. Okay. Uh, here we go now for a thousand gems. Uh, 15 seconds again. Here it is. Someone called Justin knocks on your door. Justin who? Timberlake, Trudeau, Welby. Or time for tea. Alright, uh, well, if someone called Justin knocked on my door, I think they'd be just in time for tea, so I'll say D. Uh, congratulations, Steve, you've just won a thousand gems, well done. Okay, Steve, you got yourself up to a thousand gems. That means you get a new lifeline. It's called Skype a Stranger. What it allows us to do is uh, hack into someone's computer and uh, you get a chance to ask them for some help, basically. So, the next question is for 2000 gems. Here it is. I'm going to give you 30 seconds for this next question. What shape is the Earth? Is it a sphere, an ellipsoid, a geoid, or flat? Right, well, I'm not really sure about this one, so I think I'll phone a friend. Right, let's stop the clock. Right, who are you going to ring? Well, my wife Melanie's part of some movement to do with the air, so I think I'll ring her, please, David. Right, let's get Melanie on the line. Hello? Melanie, this is David from Millionaire vs. The Clock. Oh, hi, David. How's Stevie getting on? He's uh, he's doing all right. He's won a thousand and he's gone for two thousand. But he needs your help with a question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass over to him and I'll give you thirty seconds to speak to him. Starting now. What shapes the Earth? Is it a sphere, an ellipsoid, a geoid, or is it flat? Oh, it's definitely flat. Hundred percent flat. Right, are you sure about that? I'm absolutely sure the Earth is flat. 
Ah, oh, thanks, love. Okay, so we're gonna bring the clock back. You've got 18 seconds, and that time restarts now. Right, well, if she's gonna say it's flat, then David, I'll go with flat, please. Final answer. That was very smart of you to say the earth is flat because you just won 2,000 gems. Come on. Right, Steve, it's important now. We're going to go for 5,000 gems. Oh, the category is barbecue sauce. Here's the question What type of condiment is Memphis sauce? Mustard, relish, barbecue sauce, or mango chutney? Right, well, David, I'm not really sure about this one. But, I don't think it's mango chutney. I don't really think it's mustard. And I don't think I've ever heard of, like, any relishes called Memphis sauce. So, I'm gonna have a bit of a stab, and I'm gonna say barbecue sauce, final answer. Right, well, congratulations, Steve, you just won 5,000 gems. Come on. Right, Steve, we're doing okay now. We got to 5,000 gems. We've still got three lifelines left. This next question is for 10,000. Uh, boats and yachts is the category you'll be facing. Here's the question. Yachts are a type of boat. What is Kazumazu a type of? Wine, armadillo, tree, or cheese? Um. I think I'll Skype a stranger. Okay, we'll stop the clock. Now we're going to go to someone's computer and do a free face-to-face -face Skype video call. Hello, this is David from Millionaire vs. The Clock. What's going on? Why are you on my computer? I've got Steve in the seat and he's playing for 10,000 gems. Who's Steve? I'm going to feed you the question and the four possible answers now. Right, okay, whatever. Um, I don't think it's tree, and I wouldn't say it's armadillo. It's definitely either wine or cheese. Um, Casimazu does sound Italian, uh, but the problem is the Italians are well known for wine and they're well known for cheese. So, hmm. I'm not really sure, Steve, to be honest. I'd say either wine or cheese. Uh, sorry, I can't be of more help. Okay, so, I'm gonna restart the time now. Right, well, if you said it was either wine or cheese, I think what I'll do is I'll take a 50-50. Okay. All right, Steve, please get rid of two wrong answers leaving us with the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, David, the first answer I'd like to get rid of is wine. Final answer. Okay, uh, Steve, it's not wine. Okay, so I'm going to restart your time now. Okay, right, well, the second answer I'm going to get rid of is cheese. Final answer. It wasn't tree, it wasn't wine, it wasn't armadillo, you just won 10,000 gems. Come on! So eventually we got to 10,000, but the next question is for 25,000. You can still ask the audience. Your category is one size fits all. Here is the question. In the game of chess, what is the proper name for the piece which is commonly referred to as a horsey? Knight, donkey, bishop, gelding. Right, well, we don't play chess where I'm from, so I'm not sure, but I'd say it was either donkey or gelding, but I'm not sure enough to say one of them, so I think I'm going to ask the audience. Right, okay, we're going to stop the clock. Audience on your keypads, in the game of chess, what is the proper name for the piece which is commonly referred to as a horsey? Knight, donkey, bishop, gelding. On your keypads, all votes now.
Right, so 46% are say knights, 25 say donkey, 17 for gelding, 12 for bishop. I'm going to start the clock now. Right, well, I thought it was either donkey or gelding, but if nearly half of them are say knights, then I'll go for knights, please, David. Final answer. Okay, congratulations, you've just won 25,000 gems. Aye, come on, get in there, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Right, Steve, you've got yourself 25,000 gems, and now we're playing for some big money. You've got no lifelines left, but this next question is for 50,000. Uh, the category five a day. These questions are a bit harder, so I'm going to allow you 45 seconds. Here it is. Which of these crisp flavours doesn't count towards your five a day? Steak and mushroom, olive and chorizo, mushy peas, or cheese and onion. Well, I do like to stay healthy. I do eat a bit of fruit and veg, you know, just to stay in shape and stay healthy and all that. I do try and get my five a day. I'm pretty sure mushrooms count as your five a day. I do eat plenty of mushrooms. I know peas count. I think mushy peas still count as well. Cheese and onions throwing me, but I know cheese doesn't count as your five a day, but I think onion does count as five a day, and that leaves olives. Um, I think I've actually heard somewhere that olives are too salty to count properly. So, David, I'm gonna go olives. Uh, final answer. Okay, Steve, you had nothing to lose there, and you've not lost anything. You've just won 50,000 gems. Come on! Get in! Come on! If you get this next question right, I'm not gonna double your money. I'm not gonna triple your money. I'm not even going to quadruple your money. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by 5. That's right, you'll go from 50,000 to a quarter of a million in one question if you give me a right answer to this one. Steve, you're going to need to chillax for this one. Here it is. The clock is ticking and time is running out. What is 176 times 312 plus 72 times 56 minus 131? 56,005, 58,813, 59,461, or 60,397? Well, David, the clock really is ticking, isn't it? Uh, let me think, 6 times 2 is 12, so whatever 176 times 312 is, it'll be a number that ends in 2. Uh, same with 72 times 56, that'll also end in 2. Uh, 131 already ends in 1, so 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3, that's quick maths. Um, only one option ends in 3, so uh, what the hell, I'm going to go B, final answer. I suppose the risk is outweighed by the reward because a wrong answer would cost you 25,000 but a right answer wins you something like an extra 200,000. Steve, you've given me the right answer, you just want a quarter of a million gems. Come on! I've just won a quarter of a million gems! Come on! Come on! I will come on, well done. Well done mate, I'm really proud of you. Thanks David. That really means a lot. Okay, so Steve, you have managed to win yourself 250,000 gems. A right answer doubles your money to 500,000. Uh, give me a wrong answer and you're giving me back 225,000 gems. So, you're going to have to be careful here, alright mate? I will be careful, don't worry, don't worry. Still no lifelines, you've not really needed them for the last two questions. Uh, the category is be careful. Uh, so, here it is. 46 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Where do bees go when they're injured? The paediatricians, the bee emergency department, the hospital, or the infirmary? bee? It's tough, this one. I think I have heard it before. 
It's a lot of money though, David, it's a lot of money to, to risk him. Pretty happy with 250,000. I think it's Hospital. I think it is. Um, It is the only one that doesn't have been it though. But, yeah, I think I have heard that uh, an injured bee would go to a hospital. But, uh, I've had a great time here, David. And I'm not going to risk it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk away. Right, well done, Steve. You didn't beat the clock, but you did manage to take a quarter of a million gems from it. So, ladies and gentlemen, give him a huge round of applause. Thank you, thank you. That really means a lot. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Steve, if you had had to guess, you would have said hospital, right? Uh, I would have done, David, yes. It was hospital. Oh, cheese and whiskers. But don't fret, Steve, because you still win a quarter of a million gems. Well done. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that, David. Well done, mate. I'm really going to miss you. Thanks, David. I'll miss you too. So that is all we've got time for in tonight's Millionaire Against the Clock. A contestant actually managed to answer the first question. Uh, will a contestant do it again? Well, you'll have to find out on the next show, which is tomorrow. See you then.